All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to form, pour, finish, and seal a concrete patio slab. So we got, a, we got a patio slab we're putting on the back of this house underneath a deck, as you can see. And we're forming it up right inside the post, just as the homeowner wanted. And then we're going to put a nice smooth finish on this patio. We're going to cut some grooves in it. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done with uh, three coats of sealer on it. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name's Mike Day. I specialize in all types of concrete flat work. And I put out a couple videos a week. So if you like that kind of stuff, you know, go ahead down there and hit subscribe. Hit the little bell notification so you'll be updated whenever my new videos come out. So we're putting up the forms on this thing and we had to match a certain size the homeowner wanted. It was about 13 by 25 feet. He wanted it right in a, a particular spot. So that's what we're doing here for him. And we're making sure this first board we're putting down is right parallel with that wall. And then we're checking our square with that corner there by, by using the 345 method. So that's our starting point. And from there, we can get up the other two forms and make sure everything's nice and square and parallel and, and it all looks good. And this is going to be a four inch slab, but we're going to, so we're using two by sixes. We're going to be putting that two inch styrofoam down and then the wire mesh on top of it also. Let me know in the comments, how many of you guys out there want to be able to do a patio slab on your own, a DIY patio slab? Would you like to be able to learn how to do that? Or do you think it's too much work? Something that it's just too much you can't handle it. So let me know down in the comments. And also, let me know where you guys are from down there. You know, what state, what, what city, what country you're from. Let's all, let's all uh, see where everybody's from out there that's watching this video. So you, as you can see, we got it formed up. We're getting the styrofoam and the wire down. We put up some isolation strip up against the building. So the slab will have room to expand and contract as it needs to. And we usually always put that up whenever we're buttoned up against at least two sides like we are here. We're getting the rest of that styrofoam cut in. And we use styrofoam. You know, we live in a climate where there's a lot of freeze and thaw cycles. We get, we get pretty long winters. So the styrofoam helps insulate the concrete and it helps the frost get from getting under the concrete and heaving it and, and cracking it. So that's why we use a lot of styrofoam under our exterior pads like this so we're pouring some concrete now it's a 4,000 psi mix with with three-quarter stone and fiber mesh and so we got a double reinforcement we got the wire mesh there you can see the guy on the left there is trying to pull it up into the concrete we didn't have our slab bolsters today so we're just pulling this wire up and getting the aggregate under it and once you get some aggregate under it, some stone under that wire, it doesn't go all the way back to the bottom. So it does stay up in the concrete. We're using my laser there. You can see that top con laser level. That's my RLH5B. That's the one we use to always check our grades and set grades. And this, this patio slab has a slope away from the house, about an inch and a half away from the house. So when it rains and water drips down through the deck, gets on the slab at least the water is going to run off the slab and not back towards the house we set the forms right to grade as you can see Darren's screeding right off the form and then Eric's screeding off a wet pad in there we used that we mag right to the top of that isolation strip that we put down earlier we're using we're using about a 14 foot magnesium screed for this all the tools you guys see here we're using, well, I'll have down in the description if you want to check them out. You could, you could, there's a link for them down there if you, want to, if you want to get them or if, at least check them out and see what they are. And now T is finishing up by bow floating this smooth. And once we get it bow floated, then we just have to wait until it's time to start finishing. And I mean, if you guys want to learn how to do all this stuff, I've got my, my uh, private membership, The Concrete Underground. There's a link for that down below in the description where I, I teach you how to do this kind of stuff. I mentor you. I coach you. I have all kinds of training videos in there that go in depth on how to do concrete work. 
just the same kinds of things that we're doing. Uh, there's ones in there for stamp concrete, for concrete slabs, for for repairing concrete, for for doing epoxy. So the concrete underground, the link for it's below. You know, you can check it out, and that's where you where you get more extensive training to learn how to do this kind of stuff. So we're cutting in a double groove around the perimeter of this, and the homeowner wanted this like picture frame look around it. So we're getting a couple grooves cut in, about a foot in from the outside, and the grooves are about six inches apart. And we're just cutting them in by hand. It's pretty easy to do if you get on it at the right time. And then we've got to keep them clean. You know, we want to keep all these grooves nice and clean as we go to finish. So the the homeowners also wanted a nice smooth steel trowel finish because they want. We put color in the concrete also. We put like a dark gray color in it. And when that dries, it dries kind of mottled. Almost looks like the concrete stained after you get done sealing it. You'll see at the end of the video here. But So they just wanted a smooth finish. Something easy to clean. Something that's going to look like it was a, a piece of stained concrete. So we just hand troweled it out. We, hit, we actually hand troweled it three different times. So we got on it like this. This is the first time. We let it dry for a little bit. Got on it the second time. Then did it a third time. Now here I am back. About a week later, I'm putting the sealer to it. And this is an acrylic. It's an atopical acrylic sealer. It's got about 30% solids. And I put down three coats, but I put them down really, really thin. So three really thin coats. You don't want to puddle this stuff. You want to put it down thin, let it dry. Put it down a thin again and let it dry. And then you're a lot less likely to have any any blistering or bubbling or or blushing where it kind of turns white underneath so you just want to wet out the surface like I'm doing and then let it dry then do another coat and then the stuff I'm using dries pretty quick that's also in the concrete underground you'll learn about all this kind of stuff in the concrete underground but this is how basically how we seal it right here and if you're using a solvent based sealer which I, I usually recommend solvent-based sealers for exterior stuff. I just feel like they work better outside. You know, you gotta, you got to use a really nice sprayer like I'm using. Otherwise, the solvents will eat the seals and the sprayer, and then you'll just have trouble with the sprayer. So that's a stainless steel sprayer, and we've had that for years. We just keep cleaning it out after every use, and the solvents don't bother it at all. So that's the first coat right there, and that's going to dry kind of uneven. But this is the second coat. Once you put the second coat down, things start to really, really look good. You can see how mottled that concrete is. It looks like it's almost been stained. When That's really just the way it dries. That's the color. And this is the third coat I'm putting down. So that's how we do a backyard patio slab, guys. You know, that's how we form it, pour it, finish it, and seal it. If you like that kind of stuff, you know, please hit subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this video. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.